I'm gonna put the marshmallow in the bag. I don't know if I'm gonna give it to you and I can all the stuff that's in it. Right, right. <laughs> Kayla picked up a shift. <laughs> and she doesn't work until noon, so we are headed to get coffee together. How does your heart feel, babe? It feels great. <laughs> we got our coffee. And I'm not we being have... weird today, guys. I'm just covering my shirt. <laughs> covering her logo of where she works. It's beautiful out and we're gonna enjoy yeah. our coffee sitting outside. Kayla has to leave for work in like an hour. Yeah, 70, 75 degrees and snowing. <laughs> snowing pollen. Alright guys, uh, I know we haven't talked in a little bit, but I just got here. Hi. I'm so excited. It took me, I don't know, like an hour, 45 minutes to an hour to get here. And I'm the only one here. My mom's coming up a little bit later to help set up, but I figured I would give you a house tour because why not? I'm here alone. I don't know. I just, it's so pretty. My parents are amazing and like they've done so much work on this house and they're still doing so much work and I'm so proud of them. No one really spends time downstairs because they're still redoing it. Um, it's still kind of the same way it was when they first bought the house. I'm gonna show you in the areas that we're gonna spend the most time in and then I'll show you the, like the basement. I mean, it's nothing special, but um, I just love this house and it's so beautiful and they just got a new table. Okay, I'm just gonna show you. This is it, right when you walk in, there's steps, this is the door. You walk in, there's steps up here. There's a place to put your shoes. They're gonna redo this floor that's just rust. My mom is, I just, I envy the way she decorates. She's amazing. This is like this like fake brick wallpaper. I love this. They just redid the stairs. There's a full length mirror here. I love this mirror so much and I just love this being here. I just feel like it makes everything look bigger. And then there's this whole like memory wall. It's a wall of like our entire family and my dad's side and my mom's side. I just love it. My dad built this, so that's awesome. Right when you walk up, it's the kitchen. And this is the reason I'm so proud of them is because they did all of this. Like they bought the cabinets and the island and stuff off of Craigslist for like super cheap and just redid the entire thing. Like my dad put this wooden floor in. I love the floor, I love the color. So this is all the champagne. This is my mom's gift to the bride. She's been my best friend since I was little. <laughs> I'm assuming this is for me because I don't drink or for the other people who don't, but this is her gift to the bride, all the champagne. This was the island that came with the kitchen that they bought offline. Okay, and so this table, they just got custom made to go around the island as like a this part is like the breakfast bar. So this will stay here, but this table right here breaks off and can be like its own entity over here or it can just be like this big entertaining bar. These aren't the original chairs or these aren't the chairs that they picked to go with them. These are the chairs that we had in our house growing up, um, but the stools have not come to go with this table yet, but I just, I love this kitchen. It's the best. Battery's dying. So this is the fireplace. It is the original fireplace. They're doing more work on this. They're gonna put a porch around the like building. So I'll show you that like later in life. <laughs> this is where I'm putting the photo booth and this couch, I love this couch. It's huge. These pillows, I don't know where it's from, but these pillows, they come off and this becomes basically the size of a twin size bed. So this is basically like sleeps. It's like two twin size beds. I love this couch, it's so comfortable. I kind of helped my mom pick it out. And to keep it lasting longer, she's she puts these really comfy blankets on it. TV, nothing special. This goes to the furniture at our old house. There's a little bookshelf next to the fireplace here. Love that. Then you go into this area and here is the half bath. I love this one. My mom kind of like decorated this one. They put this in. I love this little sink. It's so beautiful. Oh, this soap, by the way, is the best soap. It smells so good, my favorite. Love this area so much. I think it's so, so, so cute. Um, toilet, nothing too special. This is one of the guest bedrooms. This is actually my little sister's bedroom. When she's here, this is where she sleeps. That's the dog's bed. This is where Kayla and I are gonna sleep this weekend. We're gonna sleep on this bed. Somebody else wants to stay in there, they totally can. 
and this is where my dad works from home when he's here. This goes out to the back. It doesn't go out to the back, but it's a window out to the back. This is my parents' room. I love it. It's very beachy. It's one of my favorite rooms. I love this fan. And in here is like another one of my favorite rooms because my mom and dad designed this. Like they did this entire, like, oh my God, they're just amazing. They should be like in home designers because this is one of my favorite rooms in this house. I just love the way that it's decorated. It's so beautiful. So when the bride gets here, I'm gonna sprinkle little rose petals on the floor in here and a little bit on the bed just to make her feel like she's at like a little romantic getaway with her friends. But yeah, this is the upstairs. Hi. I will show you guys downstairs really quick. If the battery dies, I apologize. This is the cute little bathroom, very beach housey, lots of seashells. My mom loves all these little sayings. They're so cute. I don't know where she gets them, but I love them. This is where my brother sleeps when he's here. So as you can tell, we have a lot of sleeping for when people come to visit, but this is where my brother sleeps when he's here. It's the most uncomfortable bed ever. It kind of dips in the middle, but he absolutely loves it. Um, and then when Kayla and I are here together and my parents are also here, this is like the storage room, but we sleep here because my parents don't really care for us sleeping in the same bed because we're not married. But yeah, that is the full house tour. I've always thought this was super cool. Like super bohemian, bohemian, bohemian Indian painting. These are my brother Corey's. This is the laundry room. Soup's cool. I am going to go empty the rest of the car because I have a whole lot of stuff that I need to bring in and I'm gonna clean my car because I am the DD this weekend. So I'm gonna be trucking everybody around from place to place. And yeah, I'm just gonna get everything set up. I will talk to you when the battery is fully charged. Hey guys, let me just pause the music so magically. That's awesome. My parents have the surround sound hooked up throughout the house and I can control it with my little phone through Bluetooth and I think that's so cool. I am here putting together all of the goodie bags as you can see. I just want to show you what we've put together because I've basically already built all the bags. Let me show you this. So this is a little jar. This is a little jar full of icebreaker questions that my mom and Kayla helped me find on the internet and I thought it would be great for all of the girls to just sit around this table, chat, have a couple drinks and talk about awesome things. And then the bags, I'll show you the bride's bag first. Hers has these are little thank you like goodie bags. Hers has a little bride to be sash. And then I got all these little trinket dishes from Barnes and Noble. This one says with love. This one says collect beautiful moments. And then this one says hello lovely. I got them for $2 because they were on sale and I figured that would be super cute. So the theme is like a relaxing weekend away and that's what everything in the bag is gonna kind of pertain to. This is a little thank you note to my best friend for letting me be her maid of honor and letting me do this for her. And then this little guy has one of these in it. Kayla put these together. We bought these little mason jars at Walmart and then it says bath salts on the side there with a little bit of twine. And then there's a little white Burt's Bees loofah for her. So hers can kind of stand out against everyone else's. I was going to put little champagne bottles in them, but my mom is providing champagne. So I felt that it was just pointless. But then all of the other girls who are coming are getting this little washcloth. You saw this in our last, one of our last vlogs, a little brown 47 cent washcloth from Walmart, tied it with twine and a little piece of pine in there. The trinket dish and the bath salt. That's literally it. I'm gonna stuff it with some pretty tissue paper. And that's that. Once I do the little photo booth back, ugh, the photo booth back drop, I will show you guys that, but I'm gonna keep charging the battery because it still needs to be charged. Okay guys, since I've talked to you last, I've gone to the grocery store and to the Jaller General 
and my mother and my sister and her friend are here. I am boiling eggs for everybody because Saturday before we all go horseback riding, we are having like a to-go breakfast. So I'm in charge of the boiled egg. Right here I've made a little sign that says photo booth and I'm letting the super glue dry so I can hang this up. Here's the photo booth equipment. Just our filming equipment, lol. Um, I have set up, we have red wine, white wine, sangria, we have ginger beer, we have tonic water, Diet Coke, more mixers to come. Um, we can make, we have the ingredients for Moscow mules. And here I have coffee to go cups for before horseback riding. I have drinking cups, eggs. My mom is going to make this gluten-free pumpkin bread for the morning. We have a neighbor who makes homemade Amish bread, so that'll be for the morning as well. And we have a bunch of goodies over here that I bought at the grocery store for everyone. We have almonds and coconut chips and gluten-free cookies. More cookies my mom brought. Crunch onion dip, more salsa the hummus. This is the barbecue sauce for the vegan pulled pork sandwiches. My mom bought these for everyone. Oh, and then I have this. I've super glued the burlap on and I put a little guy so she can hang it. I'm not yet putting the photo frame on here so she like she can super glue the photo frame on here whenever she picks a photo from this weekend to put on here. That's pretty much it so far, but we've got a lot done. My mom's gonna help me create the photo booth thing when she comes back up from letting the girls swim at the dock. This is pretty much it, guys. I'm really excited, it's all coming together. Well, it's it's gonna, it's gonna, gonna rip when you try it. Don't do what I just did. <laughs> let it go, no. let it go. I can't Stop. hold me back anymore. Let it go, let it go. <laughs> Turn away and gonna... slam at the freaking door. <laughs> The yeah, cold wow, man, the bug. <laughs> oh, we have to blow up the thingy tomorrow. Oh, the thingy. The raft. The freaking, the freaking raft. <laughs> next day and I just wanted to share with you what the place looks like now that I've kind of gotten everything together. I'm about to make myself a smoothie and the girls will be here in 45 minutes. Let me just give you a little tour of what's going on. So I opened this over here because the smoothie stuff is down there but this is the photo booth set up for all the girls. Here is where the drink station is going to be. And then I have, I put all the balloons up here. We had a few pop, but most of them are up there. Put lights up around here. And then I just let the confetti balloons float so people can play with them because they're just like, Super cool. And then this is it right when you walk up the stairs. So I'm going to have like the strawberries on a dish here, the chocolate covered strawberries. I'm gonna have the champagne in a bucket here and I'm going to like hand the girls a glass of champagne with their bag when they come in. It's really simple, but that's like I said, what Caitlin wanted and I'm just really excited to have this weekend with her. Kayla left, such a sweet girl, is going to get me coffee at Starbucks. And now we're just playing the waiting game. I'm gonna make a smoothie for Kayla and I, and we're gonna have a fun weekend. So yeah. I will insert pictures from the weekend at the end of this from the photo booth. So I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching, bye-bye. <laughs>